So let's back to the slide. Images, uh, edit your image file name with the blog title together with the keyword before you upload for your blog post. So edit the image file name like this example, JPEG or PNG, edit with blog title or blog post. So take note the title in the alt tag and the image tag must have like for this example, this is the image tag title with alt tag so let's browse the example this time to my blog this time let's view the example for my blog so as you see this is the primary image if you hover the image the title pop in so this is the title tag of this image so let's view source so press f12 to your google chrome on your keyboard Let's view the source of this image tag. So as you see, there have a all title of this image and the title tag. If you add a title tag in your image, if you hover, we will pop up the title of the image. So let's back to the slide. So in this slide, I listed the keyword search tool, Google search, suggested keywords, Google Trends, Google AdWords, and be sure go to Google Webmaster Tool and submit a XML sitemap for your blog. And AdWords keyword search tip, find a keywords with highly searches but low competition. So let's proceed to the next slide. Step 2. Promote your blog in social medias. So this is the very effective way on promoting your blog via share it to your social media after you publish the post. My tip, there have a right time to share in social media, so don't share any time. So let's proceed to the next slide for the right time to post in social medias. Best time to post in social medias based on your local time zone. Post in social medias with the highest fans online between 11 a.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and 8 p.m. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, especially in Tuesday. Fans least active on Sundays, so don't post in Sunday because fans are least in Sunday. Personally, I post in social medias in Tuesday or Wednesday between 6 p.m. 8 p.m. So let's proceed to the next slide. Step 3 on promoting your blog. Send an email for blog subscribers. As you see in the screenshot, I received an email from searchenginewatch.com because I subscribe to their blog to get updates. So we already done this in our blogger tutorial series, so let's browse that again. So as you see, we already have joined our e-list to get updates. So we added this via Google Feed Burner. If you have a lot of visitors, of course, possible you may get a lot of email subscribers. So let's back. A step four on promoting your blog. Blog comment on relevant blogs or website. You can welcome to comment in a blog as long as your comment are relevant to that blog. So let's see the live example. So we back again. So let's see the live example. So as you see on this blog, there are about 32 comments. So let's browse an example of our relevant blog link. So Sarah, as you see in the bottom left on the screen, there are about travelnotes.co. She leave a link on this blog. It is very relevant to this blog because his blog is about travel and he leave a comment to the blog travel also, so very relevant. So this is the comment box section. You're welcome to leave a comment as long as your comment is relevant to this blog. Okay, so let's proceed to the next slide. The final slide. 
Step 5. On promoting your blog, leverage on popular groups. An example of this, popular groups website, stockexchange.com. They have a subcategory travel. So let's browse this website. So this site is all about a question, asking a question, answering a question of users. So let's browse the example questions. Let's browse this. Let's find another. Open tab. So as you see of this example question, the users is asking about does Canada Lock 5 Stars Buffet serves daily like those of Hong Kong hotels? So this is the question with links. If you are a member of this website, you can able to answer this with or without links as long as your answer has a make sense. It's very rarely if you see a blog link here in the answer a question. Most link in the question or answer has a high, very authority website. Of course, you can able to answer this question with your blog link, but be careful on doing this. Be sure your answer has a make sense, very accurate, very straight answer. I don't know if these links are very high authority, but we will see that in this example. In this example, like this very high authority koreanair.com so it's very rarely if you see a blog link here personally i really don't do this thing because there are other groups like social medias for this example in this group about html5 in css as you see, this is the link of the blog, maybe, or website. So you can leverage on popular groups. Personally, I really don't do this, but some guy are do this for me. They share my blog link to the groups, Facebook groups, because my blog is very helpful. Which I do is posting my blog link in my own Facebook fan page, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. If you like, you're welcome to do this method for your blog. And social media are powerful these days. If you share your blog post in the group, be sure your blog post has a relevant to the group name. So let's back to the slide. So this is quick overview on how to promote your blog. We will do this in actual in the next chapter in this blogger tutorial series. If you have a question in this video, just fill in the comment box section and I'll do my best to respond to your question. And don't forget to subscribe my channel because there are lots of video tutorials to come. So see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.